Welcome back to the Revenant Jeep channel, everyone. And as you guys can tell, we're back at the spot where we always do the walk arounds. Not of the Jeep today, as you guys saw in the beginning. The utility trailer. You guys remember and follow me on Instagram. I posted that a neighbor of mine gave me this Harbor Freight trailer. Now, I know it's a, you, a lot of you guys say, oh, well, it's an inexpensive, it's not top of the line trailer, but you know what? We did some upgrades. Let me show you how it looked before. Tell it's a complete new trailer. Obviously, I just did some cosmetic work, touched it up with some red paint, the wood, just touched it up with some spray paint, the white wheels. I didn't like that, so of course, I touched them up with some paint. And then, of course, I went to Harbor Freight and I got some additional stuff that I believe would be necessary in case something happens when I'm overlanding slash camping and I take the this little trailer out, this will be helpful. So let's take a look at that. So of course I got the extra tire carrier here. Let me just zoom in right there, bolts onto the side of the trailer. And then the extra spare tire, I got this at Walmart. Unfortunately, everything was out at Harbor Freight. So I had to pay an additional $30, $40 with tax. So around under $100, Harbor Freight would have been 60, but either way, whatever, I, had, I needed it. And so I did that. I had to do all the wiring just as, because it was all screwed up already. And actually my brother messed it up. So brother, if you're watching this, thanks for messing up my trailer. <laughs> whatever though, I can do the wiring. So I did that. All right, so let's look at the storage box now. This also bolts on. And as you guys can tell, I already tagged it up with a bunch of stickers. The inside it's a decent box it was around 120 just about and you can see i just have some extra tools if i needed some lock locking pins all this just a bunch of accessories if i'm on the trail i need all this the storage box will come in handy definitely so other than that let me zoom in so you guys can take a close look you know my videos they always zoom in on the products themselves so let me know if you have any questions Pretty decent box, I think. It's not that heavy, so. So there we go, we have that. Let's go on the other side. All right, so here's the kickstand for the trailer. Also from Harbor Freight. Pretty much I got everything from Harbor Freight, so good deals on there. Harbor Freight, you need to sponsor me. <laughs> Join with the Revenant Jeep, I'll, I'll put up your stuff. Good stuff. So you can see there on the storage box, it's bolted down right there. Of course, you're gonna have to drill inside the storage box to make the adjustments that you need. But other than that, pretty decent right there. That's my setup right there. Other than that, let's look at the trailer now. The trailer has definitely transformed to what it was when I got it. It was beat down and I needed to touch it up just because I don't like my stuff to be looking raggedy. So. I definitely changed it a lot. So Mr. Ryan, if you ever see this video, check out the trailer you gave me. I've taken care of it. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Ryan was actually in the service, so salute to him. And thank you so much for looking at my vision and helping me out with my channel and what I'm trying to do. So this is basically gonna be, like I mentioned in the beginning, my exploration slash camping slash overlanding trailer. Now, a lot of people may say, well, those, that axle and those tires aren't gonna ser serve you well out in the trail. Let me tell you this, let me show you around. This place ain't exactly the rock crawling status, but when the rain comes down, the roads get very messed up. Now, I'm not talking about this road. I'm saying up this mountain, there's a road on the right side over there. When I first got the trailer, I loaded it up with a bunch of heavy equipment in the back. I estimate around 500 pounds on this trailer. What I wanted to do is I wanted to check it out. So what I did, I ran these tires flat, maybe like 10 PSI, which is probably dumb, you may say. But you know what? I wanted to test them out. The beads did not look go out of the rim. They stayed in place. The tires were super flat with all the weight. And of course, the, the trailer was flexing in between the, the, the rut, ruts in between the roads. And these tires held in place. So, I mean, I'm not going to say they're, they're going to stand the biggest beat town on the trail but 
for the moment they served their purpose and I really did test these tires and they served well but that doesn't mean we can't go up to an improvement so it's not bad I think it looks a lot better than what it was I really enjoy it but definitely I'm preparing for my first camping trip I might post that video depending how much how eventful it is I might post that video but I just wanted to share with you guys my trailer my utility trailer and of course that doesn't mean we're not gonna upgrade I have plans I definitely want to match up the tires on El Jefe here so I want some mud terrains or even some all terrains would look nice on this trailer that means there's gonna be some welding involved and a new axle so that I can at least put 31s or 33s on this trailer and it's definitely gonna beef it up a lot more we're gonna try to weld up the trailer frame to make it stronger and I believe it's gonna look very nice it's gonna look badass actually I think I, I could just vision it in my mind already of course I'm not gonna do the welding because I'm not a welder I wish I was but I got some ideas in my in my mind and I think the vision is there so hopefully down the line you guys are gonna see this trailer uh, expand and just look completely different to what it is right now but so far I think it's good so hopefully everything goes well on our next trip and I might show that video We'll see though, but hopefully you guys like this trailer. If you have a trailer, you know, and you built it up, it's a good feeling just to look at it, seeing how it's been upgraded. And I just think it looks sick. So comment down below what do you guys think. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Later, guys.